Hello and welcome back to my channel. Long time, no talk, no see. I am back, hopefully. my new filming spot on my bed in Japan. Look at Naruto. I brought it with me. That's from my Naruto pillow. Won that pillow in a giant crane machine. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, anyways, not the point of this video. This video is going to be, don't mind my telephone. <laughs> It's how I talk to people when they're at my front door. Okay, again, not the point. Wow, it's been a while. It's been a while. So here we are. I am hoping to be returning to booktube full time. Um, and what I mean by that is maybe one or two videos a week and we are just going to get back at it. This is going to be the announcement video for my new Naruto TBR game for 2022. And I am making it solely for the purpose of my own enjoyment. But like last year, I am making it shareable. So you don't have to do it, but you can. You can participate if you so choose. All the resources are gonna be down in the description box below, just like last year. If you are unsure or have no idea what I'm talking about, about last year's TBR game, I had a Naruto adventure TBR game and it went over really, really well. It was my most popular videos um, since my channel started like three and a half years ago. But this year is going to be slightly different. It's going to be less of a story Line, but more as we are taking on missions, ninja missions. So each mission is a certain amount of points and each mission has a certain amount of tasks and we are going to get into how I am going to be playing or how you might play if you so choose. But again, this is solely for my benefit and my enjoyment, but I did want to make it shareable just in case you wanted to participate yourself. So here we are. This TBR game is molded so you can start at any time, just like my last year. Naruto TBR game that can be started at any time as well. You can start it now if you really wanted to. This Naruto Ninja Mission TBR game is slightly different and you do have to keep track of a few things but some things will be overlapping from last year's. I am using some similar resources and so let's get into it. So how each month works. Maybe I will. All this will be available to you, but just in case this might help, here it is. Each month you will use a random number generator. Google has a very good random number generator. It's very easy to use in the Google search bar. You put random number generator and it pops up and you will be random number generating one to 10. So there are 10 different missions that you can be given by, you know, the village and then leaves if that is where you live like I do. When you get your random number generator, you will go to the corresponding slides. And when I show you those slides, you will see how easy it really is going to be. They are all labeled. You will read the mission you were given. So this is all random number generated, but you can read the mission first and you can regenerate a number once each month. It is a little risky because one, you would have to add a book to your TBR. It could be any book. It doesn't have to follow any of the prompts, but you do have to add a book onto your TBR, which won't be a problem if that the first mission you generated was um, too easy or just not enough for you. You wanna read more books or you want more points. It wouldn't be a problem. You would just be adding on a new book and you would get a new mission. But if you get like an S ranked mission, which is the most difficult mission, and then you repopulate and then get another S ranked mission, you are, hurting yourself in the long run and you still have to add a book to your TBR because you regenerated a number. So here we are. It's your choice whether or not you want to take that risk or not, but I will get into the missions and how those work in just a bit. Each mission you will be pulling a certain amount of cards and the card pulls that I will be using are the same cards that I made for last year's TBR game. So they are going to look very similar. Here are the cards that I made last year. These are all the cards that I picked in 2021, all the books that I put on my TBR last year from my Naruto TBR game. So here they are. These are all the ones I didn't pull. I didn't pull Shikamaru or Dry and Sage Mode. You know, I didn't pull any of these. Here's Anko, Kankudo, like I didn't pull these, but I'm using the same card. So each card has a character and on the back it has a prompt. So um, Shikamaru is read a book with political intrigue. So if I pulled this card for one of my missions, I have to read a book with political intrigue. And we will come into how that might be a little difficult depending on the mission. So 
stay tuned. There are a few people that participated in my Naruto TBR game last year and made their own cards. So if you made your own cards and have kept them, good for you. You were either new to my channel or for some reason threw away your cards after making them. I do have a link to the same prompts from last year and the same prompts I think on my cards this time around. So I, some of them are tailored towards me and what I need to read, but um, you can take a look at that sheet, use them however you want, and then if you wanted to, you can random number generate from that spreadsheet, and that can be like your card pull. You can do it however you want if you are participating. It's meant to be fun. The rules are for me, you can also tweak the rules however you want, but yeah, you do you. So a little bit more details. So onto the missions. The missions are the main part of this TBR game. The missions are ranked from easiest to hardest and like in the manga or anime, this is how it works basically. It starts with rank D missions and they are the easiest missions and they are going to be the easiest missions to get through for that month. Followed by C, B, and A and then S ranked missions being the most difficult and those will be your most difficult reading months because I'm making them more difficult because that's the way of the game. You will be doing one mission per month and if you complete the mission in its entirety at month you get the full points. Full points from that mission you will see those points when I show you one of the mission cards and you will just keep track of those yourself. Um, I will probably make some sort of spreadsheet. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet but I'm doing it. If you are unsuccessful in a mission but complete at least one task, you get half points. So uh, in the real ninja world, you just failed. But I'm being kind to myself in 2022, which means I'm being kind to you too in 2022. Here we go. Half points, but it could hurt you in the long run. I'll get to that as well. You keep track of your mission points. Uh, you will do that all by yourself. These points will be used in November, December of this year. If you start later than January 2022 than me, then it would just be the 11th and or 12th month that you are participating in the TPR game. So yes, I will get to that as well. November or the 11th month of the year or whichever month you are participating in this TPR game, if you so choose, you get to pick or you have the first opportunity to pick your career path. So you're you're aiming towards something. There's a goal at the end of the tunnel. Like you are working towards something. If you do not have enough points for your career path, November is your last chance, your last mission to rack up those extra points. And then in December is when you choose your career path. And I plan to use this career path in my next Naruto TBR game, which would be in 2023. But I need time to work on that. So a little bit more about the mission and the rankings, the D ranked missions are 10 points and there's two tasks. C ranked missions, there's three tasks and it's 20 points. B ranked missions, there is four tasks and there are 30 points. A ranked missions, there are five tasks and 40 points. And then the S ranked missions, there are six tasks, but it is 50 points. Something I'm doing this year for this game is each task, you can combine those tasks together if the prompts or the tasks work that way. The only things you can't combine are your TBR card picks. You can't combine those, but you can combine those books with other tasks in the mission if they fit. Otherwise you have to add another book. So S ranked missions could be a little easier if you do it right with the right books, with the right prompts. It's all about luck. The ninja paths and careers. I am not probably going to be announcing these. I already have them, but I'm probably not going to be announcing them until my first mini readathon. I'm either going to do one or two mini readathons for you to try or attempt to rack up extra mission points. So I will get to that later um, in the year, but I am planning at least least one though I want to do at least two so we will see how that works and good luck to us all but I think those will be really fun they're not going to be a whole month they would either be a weekend or a week long um, and I might do one of each so we will see how that works but it's extra opportunities for me and or you to rack up extra mission points for the ideal or your ideal career ninja path and let me tell you one of them is Hokage but one of them is also an Ichiran ramen chef ninja career path. Who wants to be a Hokage when you can make ramen? Real quick, here's the example of one of the D-ranked easiest mission slides. At the top, you will see that the random number generated number 
at the top is one. So when you go and generate a number, all you have to do is find the corresponding slide or mission with that said number. I did randomize them within the PowerPoint and so we'll just have to find it. So I mean the numbers are in order but the ranked missions are randomized. This actually is one of the two easiest missions on the list of missions you can get. I have two from each ranking that you can get random number generated but this is also a perfect example of how you can combine the tasks with the TBR card picks. Task number one is to pull one TBR card. I So here we are. Here is a bunch of my cards. Ooh, I pick one. Um, Mifune. Read a book with an Asian author. Okay, Asian author. But the second task is to read two books from your owned book collection because this is the owned book mission. So this could be one of those two. If you find a book that you own with an Asian author, then you only have to add one book to your TBR that month. And then for that particular TBR, you only have two books and the rest of the month you can like mood read or something. But this is a perfect example of where you would combine your TBR card pick with the other task or tasks within the mission. So the only books you cannot combine is if you had to pick two TBR cards read a book with an Asian author is one book, then read a book with political intrigue is a second book. Even if you find a book with an Asian author with political intrigue, you cannot combine those. So you can combine those picks with other tasks in the mission. You have to read at least two books for that mission if you have to pick two cards. So that is it for now. Like I said, there are a little things I am going to be sneaking into this TBR game like mini readathons and such and the ninja career pass will be announced at a later date because I am going to try to do that in an interesting way. This is my new TBR game for January 2022 through December 2022. So yes, my January TBR video will be up a day or two after this one depending on my internet situation because I am going to Fukuoka tomorrow. So depending on how the hotel internet is, I should be able to get both of these up uh, within the next 48 to 72 hours. But that's only if the internet at the hotel that I'm staying at is kind to me. But I am taking my ethernet cord and we'll just see how it all goes. But yes, all the resources for this TBR game and last year's TBR game, if that one strikes your fancy more than this one, will be all down in the description box below. I do have other videos planned, book two videos and some Japan blogs and Japan videos planned coming in January or mid-January, depending on certain aspects that I'm waiting on. But I hope you all enjoy my return and I'm actually really, really excited for this TBR game in general. So, so if my explanation for this TBR game wasn't as cohesive as I tried to make it. My next video, like I said, in another day or two will be up with me going through the very first month for this TBR game, which will be a perfect example, I suppose you could call it, of how this game is supposed to be played. And so you can stay tuned for that and then maybe decide later. So, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Yes, please like, comment, and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all next time. All love. Bye.